This is the unboxing for the MG Zeta Gundam for Ka. Here is the MG Zeta Gundam for Ka. This is the newest for Ka model kit. Uh, this came out in 2003 at the very beginning of the year. This is the very first Verka that I will be building. I do have several others, but since this is brand new, I wanted to build this one first. I believe that this is the 20th anniversary one. Um, so it, it was quite, uh, they were pretty quiet about which model kit it would be at the very beginning because they had announced this like probably mid-2022, that a new version was coming out. It would be the 20th anniversary. So there was a lot of speculation, and when it was revealed that it would be the Zeta Gundam, there was a lot of joy because uh, Koto uh, Kotoki had never done a Zeta mobile suit, I don't believe. Well, actually, no, he did do the double Z. But uh, th this was something that was just waiting for not just a Verka, but a new upgraded Master Grade kit. So let's just go ahead and take a look. So like we have, this is, this is typical of a Verka, a nice white background box. Shows an artistic representation of the kit. Now with Verka, they're much more realistic looking, not necessarily anime style. So these are more like, you know, what they would look like in the real world. And his his style is very unique. He's one of the best uh, designers out there, both for the mobile suits in the anime and the manga, as well as for kits. So it's very special to have a Verka. So you got the cover art here. And a lot of this stuff is just then photos of the, of the you know, like typical kits but fewer photos of the prototypes and the rest of it is really just there we there we have mobile armor there cuz this will transform but the rest of it, it on the sides and such is just basically you know just close up versions of the cover art so let's go ahead and take a look inside the box now one very nice thing about a Verka kit, let me just get these out before they fall, is that the manual, a lot of time is put into the manual. There's lots and lots of, of photos of close-ups of various parts and the, and the various uh, gimmicks that are done on the kit itself. There's a lot of history about the mobile suit and its various weapons and forms and stuff like that. And then you get into the um, the actual putting it together. But even, like, in the middle, there's always much more information about the suit as well. And, you know, th this one here, being a later one, has both the Japanese and the English translations. I believe that they started doing the English translations and the manuals first with the Verka because they were just so popular. And then at the end, you know, you've got all the building. And of course, your, uh, one nice thing about the Verka is very early in the Verka runs, they included water slide decals. The very early ones did not, but they started including them as standard because this is, this really is a premium kit, even though it's available outside of premium Bandai. So there's a lot of, you know, thought put into the color guide and where the decals are going to go. And this is all done by, um, um, uh, who is it? Kotoki Hajime. And that's what the Ka is, is Kotoki. So let's go ahead and take a look at the runners. And there will be, I'm just going to slide this a little bit here. Let's put this off the side. So you're going to have your your typical runners. You've got a couple of A runners. Looks like this is going to be more inner frame. Now there isn't a true inner frame type thing where it's separate from the um, the rest of the kit or the rest of the armor pieces. It's more integrated in. Now when these came, these were connected like this. It was just one big runner. 
So what I did is I just snipped them in the middle so that I could have a separate A1 and A2 because this could be easier to work with. So this looks like their inner frame plus some weapons and such like that. And then we also, same thing, these were come, came together. So we've got more inner frame, we've got hands and stuff like that. Now, the one nice thing about the Braca kits is these are completely designed from scratch. It doesn't borrow from other kits or anything like that. So th this are, these are all unique designs. This is the size that these were coming. This one didn't have the easy split because it's just one big runner. So this is also more looked like inner frame and some weapons, perhaps, and stuff like that. So there is an awful lot of the darker plastic just for the, you know, to get the base right. We've got the D, and this is still more inner frame. Or I guess you could say structure for the kit. And then we have uh, E1 and E2. And then after these, that's when it starts getting into the external armor pieces. So you've got your various color coming. So the first main color is white. This being the uh, the Zeta Gundam, there is a lot of white, at least the external. And, you know, Zeta being the second um, primary mobile suit in the second anime ever done for Gundam, it's going to follow the same traditional Gundam um, colors. So it's going to be, you know, the, the white, blue, yellow, and red. Now, granted, in the Zeta um, anime, the first um, AU mobile suit that you see is actually the Mark II, which they had captured from Titan, from the Titans. And they had did the color in the traditional white, blue, red, and yellow colors. But the Zeta Gundam was the first brand new built specifically for the AU in the series. So we got a couple of G, so these are more armor pieces in the white. We've got our H runners in H1 and H2, which are the blue pieces. Also armor. We have a I, which looks like it's, been, it's the black pieces on the backpack which is going to be cool. And it looks like more backpack and probably some weapon, some, you know, black highlights in, in the weapons. And these are our J runners. We've got a full runner of yellow, which is nice because normally you might have a single runner that has just a few yellow pieces, a few red pieces, and a few blue pieces all together on the same runner. But this, the color separation is important enough where they did completely different runners because there's a lot more color and color separation in a Verka than in a typical kit. So here's our yellow armor pieces. And then the same thing with the red. It's got a good sizable red um, amount of red to put on here as well. It looks like it's a combination of like backpack and weapons and armor. And these here looks like the part of the feet. So it's going to be pretty cool. And then we do have some, this M runner is some silver metallic. It is nice and shiny. So. These will be some nice little metallic highlights that show. And then we have a couple of clear. We have some just clear plastic, which is probably going to be things like the foot for the head and stuff like that, where you know, different parts will show through. And then, of course, we have the beam sabers, which is the typical pinkish red um, beams for you know, the good guys. <laughs> so, after that, let's see. So, we do have some 
quote-unquote color correcting stickers in the but these are just the uh the lenses the places where you need a shinier um surface so you got your eyes and your lenses so that's not so bad and then we definitely have for all the markings we have the water slide decals and these came right with the kit so these are the bandai ones the best ones you can get so and there is quite a bit of detail in these so it's going to be fun putting these on. It's going to really bring things out. So that does it for the unboxing. So I'm really looking forward to building this. Like I said, this is the very first for Ka that I am putting together. And I think this is going to be a great uh, mobile suit to put together because I, I really did enjoy the Zeta Gundam series. So uh, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you for the next one. Thank you for watching this video right to the end. If you did enjoy it, please do give it a thumbs up. That does help out the channel. If you would like notifications as to when new videos are posted to this channel, please do subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you do have time, please do enjoy one of the videos that are popping up around my head.